Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SPCL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very, very nice move. I mean, from where it was here to now where it is, good solid move, I can't imagine anybody arguing against that. But that does lead to the question, is there any sort of true power behind this move? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level. And that's why I love charts, makes things very straightforward. But in my mind, this level, that matters and kind of gives us the answer to this question is down there at 0062. Why is 0062 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine strength, with true power, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, a price movement that's truly strong is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 0062. Any sort of closes blow it or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back within this range where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down there. And heck, you'd have that set of lows down there. So if you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now the stair steps are progressing and continuing to progress in the upwards direction. And that's the name of the game, right? That's how bullish moves and long-term uptrends are built. Got to put in those higher lows or stair steps, as we'll call them. And that's what 0062 is representing. Resistance wise, pretty straightforward at this point. All about the pink line right here, which is the famous 200 period simple moving average. Even if you have just a surface deep understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period and you know that when the prices blow it, uh, it does tend to act as resistance. So not saying it's impossible to break through it, just saying that the bulls are gonna have to bring their A game if they do wanna fight through it. All in all though, no doubt about it, very nice day today. So it'll be interesting to see if the bulls can build upon this momentum going forward. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.